Hey guys, welcome back to the most hotly anticipated plumbing show. Since Pornhub gave people an unrealistic expectation as to how quick a plumber's gonna turn up to their house. It's an old school joke, I know, but I have to make it. Today, what I'm gonna be doing is installing the waste pipe for the bath and the waste pipe for the basin under the floor. This is called first fixing. So what I'm gonna do is get the inch and a half in for the bath. We're gonna talk about my thought processes as I go through that and also do the same for the basin over here capping them off nicely up against the wall so they're nice and safe and ready to go for us to put the floor down. I did say in the last video, this is video number four, I believe in the series, I did say in the last video that in this video I'd also be putting the floor down, but I forgot that I've also got to first fix the pipes for this here radiator, which isn't going there, it's going on this wall. So that will be in the next bathroom refurbishment video. Um, first fixing the pipes of the rad, I've got a really cool little trick for you to be able to get your pipes up perfectly every time if they're going straight up into the radiator or you know stopping you from having to do 45s and bits like that. So I hope you enjoy this video. All the tools that I use in this video you'll be able to buy on our Amazon store or all the ones that I could find on there anyway. Please comment below, join the AL Army because there's going to be a song at the end selected by them. AL Army Thursday night live streams, oh my god, let's get on with the video guys. Remember to hold tight. Here we go. And remember, you can find Luke Gall information about the Luke Gall plumbing in your home and also search for my pussy at the Plumber Parts Interactive House link below. Oh yeah. Right then guys, so first up, and this is probably something you're not going to encounter in your own job because they hopefully haven't done this, but the guy who lived here before me has put the inch and a quarter, this is inch and a quarter pipe, from the basin. Uh, they've run that down here, down outside, and then into the stack, which is a bit crazy. We're not going to need to do that in this job, we can simplify all the pipe work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out there, cap it, and then I'm going to remove it later, probably not in the video because it's so easy to do, I'll just cap it off outside, skim it off and do all that. So what we're going to do, we're going to run over our inch and a quarter that comes out in this piece here, and what we'll do, we'll 45 down and tee into this piece here. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to tee another tee up. We don't need to do this, but it's quite handy to know. We're going to put a automatic air vent in, but a small one, so it's on inch and a half. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to run that up here, and that's going to go up there in the second fix later on. But for the first fix of that, we're just going to leave that there. Then we're going to run our inch and a half under the floor, and we're going to pop it up in the right place for the bar. So. I think the first thing I'm going to do, that you know what, the first thing I'm going to do is just get this floorboard up so we can plan out how we get our inch and a quarter over to our main stack. I mean, why would I want to cut that now, eh? The smell of poo? The smell of wee? No. <laughs> Sorry about the noise, guys. I get the fan on when I'm doing any sort of real pooey work. <laughs> Literally pooey. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I want to happen is, I want this to be quite simple. So this floorboard is going to be the one that we're going to lift and take out. And that should be really quite easy for us to do. I'll get my Jemmy up here in a second, we'll do that. But before we do it... And now it's like, oh, what am I going to find here? Oh, brilliant. I'm happy with that. Why am I happy? Because these pipes, these are the radiator pipes we're going to be moving in the next video, are nice and low. That's really, really important. Um, if they'd have been up high, I might have been really naughty and actually just bent them down with body weight because I know that in the next video I'm going to take them out but and it's also my house <laughs> so I do what I like. Right so next up I'm just going to put a tape all the way basically we're on five foot here but I'm going to cut this back to about 57 purely because I'm going to leave myself a little bit of space then. Now I've just got myself these nice little set So there we go, We've, we now know where we're going to be running this. Uh, right, what do we want? A pencil, when do we want it? Now. So now we can lay this right up to our centre mark on here. Cut there, 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 there. Now I'm not going to remove these other floorboards, so I'm going to have to straddle them to get my cuts at the right depth. But if you want to make sure you get your first cut right, which will be where you start your drop from, Take the battery off your skill saw or whatever you're using. Then you can actually move this back to where you want it, drop that down, and if you use an off cut or something like that, marry that up to the end of this pipe here, and then every joist just go down another three or four mil, and then you'll get the drop that you want. So this will be my highest joist, slightly lower, slightly lower, slightly lower. And that's all you need to do. It only needs to be a mil or two throughout the whole drop because it hasn't got far to go, and we only need one in 40. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is he going to go through that wire? Oh, no, of course not. But all going well, just have to trim out just a little bit there at the back. This is perfectly standard work for getting a pipe through joists. 
So stop typing now. So I'm just looking for my bubble to sit, when this is sat down here, to be on the left hand side of this. Then I know that I've got the drop that I need, the drop that I want. Well, we're pretty much ready to try and get this connected into this side now. So let's do that now. So a little recommendation for this sort of work. Number one, 45s. Make sure when you go to the suppliers that you put this inside the tee and then they might not charge you for it. Get that one in there for your old school plumbers. Right, the first thing you need to do is make sure you get your sweep the right way. So our sweep, we want, the, we want to be going that way. So our sweep wants to be exactly like that, okay? So it forces our water round and it goes off like that. The next thing I'd like to do is to make it so it sort of goes in there quite nicely, is just have a little bit of a, a little bit of a quirk on it. I don't know actually, I just have it a little bit upwards, just like that. And you can see what I'm gonna to have to do here, I'm gonna to have to 45 in. Do not use elbows if you can help it. Try to use as many 45s as possible. It, it, two 45s is better than one tight elbow. Even though at the other end there, I am gonna to have to put an elbow in, but I've bought a swept elbow. It helps flow better. Now, the next thing I'd recommend you do is just mock everything up. Do it dry with no glue on it and make sure that it's all going to go in. Also, it's a good idea now if you want to do this, you can just mark up every one of these joints so you've got them nice and where you want them to be. Now, these two, I'd just link up like that. And then that on there. That on there. Solvent glue is cheap. Leaks are expensive here, guys. Plenty of glue here, girls. All right. Glue is cheap, like you heard me say. Leaks are expensive. So make sure you glue the pipe and also the inside of the fitting. Give it a quick twist round when you put it in and then wipe the rest off with your finger. And then you can pick that off later on like a little weird gluey scab. So you know, I can twist that all the way around. If as long as I keep it moving, I know it's not going to set. As soon as you take your fingers off it and leave it, that is going to start going now. Look, it's already gone. You know, you don't have a lot of time. Right, so I'm just going to add a little stub in the end of this because get a tee in that's going to point up that way and we're going to use that as our vent tee. Because what's going to happen here, we're going to have a bit of wood that goes all the way up here and this is all going to be kind of boxed in this bit. So I know I've got room to do it. So I'm just going to vent up and we're just going to leave that sticking up here ready for our second fix. So I just wanted to notch a little bit out of the joist here just so I can get that 45 in. Don't worry guys, I did glue this afterwards. I did a mock up, but I did glue it afterwards and it's all in now looking sexy. Right, okay, so we're done there. Now let's go back over to where the basin waste is coming up, get that cut to the right length and clip to the wall, and that's our first fix for the basin finished. Then we'll go back over here and get our bath up in the right place as well. What a fun place to work. <laughs> oh, it's even better when you're filming it. I mean, it's so easy. I mean, it makes the job so much more fun. Right, so first thing you need to do is think, well, I'd like to have some clips, yeah? So you could right now if you want. I mean, I could just hang those clips there. Come on, like that. So if you want to, the first thing we can do is just pop some clips in. Uh, I'll just drill these up to the wall. Let's do that now, actually. It's not beautiful, but it's going to do the job. And that's all we ask for at the moment. Right, so now that's where it is. Just bring this up to where we need it. Spin it round, get that glue on there. Okay, I've got a bit on the pipe. Get some in the fitting. Get it in. Give it a spin. I'm not going to use these holes here because those clips are so spread, but I'm just going to leave these in. I'm not actually going to use plugs purely because I don't know what the height of my trap's going to be. So I might have to drop this down to get an elbow out to take the trap depth when it's all done. So, you know, just think it ahead a little bit. And if you're a true plumber, you'll christen that on site by doing a little wee wee down it. Don't tell me you've not done it. In desperate times. Don't ever try to poo down one of these though. <laughs> that would not end well. Um, next thing to do, just quickly, uh, well, what we'll do, we'll, we'll, do a, we'll do a test in a minute just to make sure that everything's watertight and all that sort of stuff. Um, but before we do that, let's get the bath side done and get that old bit of pipe cut out. Right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of planning, but the first thing I'll do is just get this old bit cut out of here. This is going to be manky as hell. Ah. 
Not as bad as I thought it would be. And now it's just the same process for the bath pipe, really. Just getting a bit higher up, making sure there's a drop. So I think you've got the general idea of what I'm doing here. What I'm going to do is just see if I can get some sort of support down this end with this little bit of wood. Just try and create some sort of support for that. Even if the pipe's just resting on it, if it's just resting on a piece of wood. Look, now we've got that very important little bit of support there. And once I've put that little sort of stabilising bit in there, I'll mark up all my joints yet again and then take it all apart, glue it up just like I did earlier, and we're pretty much all done. Alright, so we've got all that done, all in. I'm just going to make a little bit of spears here, uh, just because I want to... Uh, Remove the old pipe. Now I've already done the floorboard for this, so I'll just pop this up. Now the old pipe should just lift off. Ooh. Get like water everywhere. Let's see if we can get that up. No, I've got a bit out. So in the next video, what I'll do is we'll get the first fix up for the radiator that's just over there. That's going to be on that wall there. Before we do that, I'm going to get bum heads up here, my darling wife, to get all the holes filled in, get the paint taken off and all that, ready for us to work on there. I will test all my pipe work. What you do in a pipe work test is pretty much just pour water down every one of the pipes and make sure you don't have any leaks. It's a very, very simple process. If you do, you're going to have to address that, aren't you? Yes. Um, so there we go. That's how we do that. So yeah, it's going to sit down absolutely perfectly there. Lovely. We've got a nice little drop on that. Everything's looking good. We're really getting on with this now. Once we've got those radiator pipes up, because then the floors go down, uh, after that I'll first fix the shower, then the walls will go on, and then we're looking at like, oh, we're, we're starting to think about maybe actually putting some new stuff back in again, rather than uh, just working under the floor and trying to get things done like that. But there you go, so I hope you've enjoyed this video today, guys. I hope you've learned something about how to do the waste pipe for your bath. Remember, something I'll take away from it is get it clipped, get it supported, um, make sure you use 45s as much as you can, rather than 90s. And if you do need to put rodding points in or anything like that, put them in. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Please hit the sub button. There's a bit of music coming in right now from the Isle Army Massive selected by the crew. So I hope you enjoy that. And I'll see you in next week's video that might be a tool review or it might be another one of these. It's a mishmash of plumbing brilliance, I hope. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. And I'll see you soon. Remember to hold tight. Imagine being sick in your Sunday roast because of the smell from a stink pipe. Thanks for watching guys, please hit the subscribe button, please check out my other channel Times of James, of course join the Ale Army, you will not regret it, well some of you might regret it actually, but you'll only know if you click the join button. See you soon in the next video guys, hold tight.